Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will make the Easter doily uh, because I wanted to make something uh, with these happy spring colors and I found just a perfect uh, thread uh, with these uh, pastel colors and I will show you more about it shortly. And um, the triple crochet clusters here, these pairs of the clusters, they remind me of Easter eggs, uh, or they could be bunny ears, or flower petals, anything to do with Easter. And the doily is easy to make. You can adjust the size uh, by adding rounds uh, to make the preferred size. Uh, mine has uh, 14 rounds and it measures about 13 inches on each side. And the thread I'm using is from Yarn Art. I bought it uh, online and you will find the link in the description box below the video if you'd like to buy the exact same thread uh, in case it's uh, available. And um, it has uh, 50 grams in one ball. One ball is enough and it is 100% microfiber. And this one, uh, these colors, pastel colors, are called uh, tulip. And my crochet hook is size 1.75 millimeters. And let's get started. And we start with a slip knot. And chain 6. Two. Three, four, five, six. Now make a slip stitch in the beginning first chain to uh, make a ring. So this thread is uh, very smooth, it's kind of shiny and uh, also kind of uh, slippery but at the same time it's uh, very comfortable to work with it doesn't uh, uh, fall off my hook or anything so that's uh, very interesting so the first round we start with three chains and so this now is the beginning uh, three triple crochets together so next uh, we need to make Two more triple crochets then yarn over twice and start the triple crochet pull through first two loops pull through next two loops and leave last two loops and hook and again yarn over twice pull the loop up through the hole pull through first two loops pull through next two loops and now we have three loops on hook pull through all of them this is the beginning uh, three triple crochets together and now chain five three four five and now we're going to make three triple crochets together so same way yarn over twice Start the first one, start the second one, always leave these last two loop loops on hook, and the third one. And now we have four loops on hook, pull through all of them. And next, chain eight. This is for the corner. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now repeat the three double crochet cluster. Start first, start second, and third. Pull through four loops. Now chain five, three, four, five. So between these pairs, we have five chains. And again, a 
I like to see how these colors are changing so they're kind of making these uh, Easter eggs for me so and the next is to chain eight three four five six seven eight that's the second corner and now repeat make a three double crochet cluster then chain five make another one and then chain eight for the uh, third corner and also make the fourth corner same way and we'll finish the round together and i made eight of these uh, clusters uh, this is my last eight chains for the fourth corner and now i'm going to slip stitch on top of the first cluster to finish the ring and the uh, second round we first slip stitch in that next uh, five chain space and start from here again we do the beginning cluster first so chain three and then start the triple crochet and start one more and now we have three loops pull through them then chain five four five and make another cluster now in this same uh, chain space so this is with the three triple crochets pull through four loops now after this pair we now chain six three four five six and in this corner chain space we'll make two clusters again first then we chain eight between them five six seven eight and make the second in the same space and now chain six three four five six and now in the next five chain space we'll make another pair of clusters so here's the first and here between them we chain five three four five and make the second in same space and next we chain six two three four five and six so here's my next uh, corner space so we repeat the same we do the pair of clusters one pair and chain eight between them so my first chain eight Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the second cluster in the same space. And then repeat uh, chain six, make the next pair of clusters in this five chain space, and then you uh, chain five between them. And after the pair you chain six and then you do the corner again with eight chains and I need to do uh, six more chains four, five six and finish the round again slip stitch on top of that first cluster and slip stitch in the next five chain space to start round three and it's a little different here 
in the corner so it starts the same uh, chain three to the beginning cluster chain five second cluster in the same space Now chain six, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to go into that corner eight chain space. So we skip this six chain. So go into that eight chain space. And in here, on this round, we have to make uh, four clusters. So this is how the uh, rounds are, uh, the doily is going to increase. B uh, between the first pair now chain five, three, four, five, then make the second cluster in here. And now chain eight for the corner. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the same corner space, now make the third cluster. Chain five. Two, three, four, five, and the uh, fourth cluster in the same space and after the four clusters we chain six three four five and six and again skip this six chain go into that five chain space and I'm going to make the pair of clusters here. With uh, five chains between them. Three, four, five. The second in the same. And after that pair, chain six, two, three, four, five, six. And repeat, skip this next six chain, go into that corner space and make four clusters. So between the first pair, we chain five, then we chain eight, and then again five. And then you do the six chains and then this pair and repeat all around and last six chains slip stitch on top of the beginning cluster and now round four slip stitch in the chain space make the beginning cluster Chain five, second cluster, now chain six, four, five, six, then Again, skip this six chain, go into that next five chain space, make a pair of clusters here. This is the first. Chain five. Two, four, 
five and the second in the same space and now chain six three four five six and so what's different here now is in this corner a chain space we're just going to make one pair of clusters so two clusters not four so make the first chain eight two three four five six seven eight and make the second cluster and then chain six three four five six and now you go straight into this next five chain space and make two clusters in here Chain five, three, four, five, and make second. And now I'll continue the same way, chain six. In here, in this five chain space, make the pair of clusters with five chains between. And then again, you chain six. So we're skipping these chains here. And then you go into this five chain space, make the pair. And then chain six and go into the corner space, make a pair. And chain eight between. And then chain six, go into the next five chain space, make a pair. And now we need to repeat these uh, two rounds. So I'm going to start the round five. It repeats round three. So this is the one where we increase. We did uh, four uh, clusters in a corner space. And then uh, so uh, you'll remember on each uh, odd numbered round will increase. And then uh, six round will repeat the fourth this is where we did just two clusters in corner and so that's the uh, only difference so keep repeating these two rounds until you get the size that you like so we'll do the uh, beginning of round five here slip stitch in space so start the same Chain five, chain six, three, four, five, six, and it's also kind of uh, easy to remember. We always have to skip these six chains. And go into that next five chain between the cluster make a new pair in here chain five two three Again, before the corner, we chain six, three, four, five, six, and here now we're going to do the uh, four clusters. So 
first yarn over twice first cluster chain five two three four five then the second cluster And chain eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The third cluster, chain five, five, and the fourth. And now chain six, two, three, four, five, six, and and repeat. Skip this six chain, make the pair of cluster in here, skip this next pair in here skip this next pair in here skip this and then make your uh, corner four clusters and so yeah when you finish the round five this one then you do the round six exactly the same as we did the, the fourth so just two clusters here in the corner space now i'm going to uh, add my rounds and uh, i'll meet you back here uh, once I'm done, so we can make the edge together. And I finished uh, 13 rounds now. So um, you're welcome to make it smaller or bigger. And uh, I'm now going to make the 14th last round for the edge. And we're going to make some uh, picots and chains for the edge. I slip stitched on top of the last cluster and we start with one chain then single crochet in that same stitch and then first three chain pico chain three and slip stitch in that same single crochet below and here where we did five chains we now make four three four then single crochet on top of that next cluster and make three chain pico and here where we chain six now we chain five two three four five next cluster single crochet on top of it pico And chain four, two, three, four, single crochet, chain three, slip stitch, and here again, chain five, two, three, four, five, and then repeat single crochet and pico. And now do this until you get to that corner space. We'll make that one together. Here, this is my eight chains of the corner. I'm going to chain three and then just single crochet in one of these middle chains and make a pico. Slip stitch. And again, chain three. And then go on top of the next cluster and then just continue here chain four now two three four and after this uh, pico we'll chain five two three four 
five. And repeat this now for all the sides, all sides and corners. And here is my finished doily after blocking. So this was fun to make um, and I hope you uh, like it too. Uh, as always, you'll find the written pattern uh, on my blog. The link is below video in the description box. Uh, thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting!